Hi, this is Mary from Reviewer's Diary. I just got back from my trip to Florida and I'm so disorganized. As you can see, there's still a bunch of junk that has to be um, put away. I am back from my trip to Florida and I took the um, Physician's Formula Youthful Wear Spotless Foundation with me, the one with the dropper. I did do a pretty long video of me putting it on and um, it felt really good that day and I felt like you know, this is good stuff for me. And as I wore it over the course of the week, now mind you, I was in Florida, humid, humid, humid. Of course, it's 90 in the shade today here, so it's not great here either, but um, my skin started to feel like dried out newsprint. It was very uncomfortable on after a while. Um, it felt okay going on, and then it's not so okay um, throughout the day. So anyway, today, I returned the Spotless Foundation um, and I came out of the store with three more products. Um, first of all, I just want to say also disclaimer here, I only have on these three makeup products. An under eye concealer, uh, one of my favorite pencils, and mascara. But anyway, this is the color. It's very shimmery on. I love it. You can see it on my eyes right now. Um, and that's all the makeup I put on. A little under eye, a little mascara, and a pencil. Because I knew I was going to try this new um, foundation. And this is also from um, Physicians Formula, Youthful Wear. It looks a little thicker. Um, and it says, Youthful Wear, it's new, new! Um, <laughs> Velvet feel, flawless coverage. Um, the color is light. It's teeny, tiny, tiny, tiny again, but this time I wore my glasses into the store so I could read it. Um, and it says, Youthful Wear Cosmic Cuticle Youth Boosting Foundation and Brush. Don't like the brush, but anyway, that's beside the point. High performance um, helps treat the visible signs of aging, restoring firmness and elasticity, yeah, okay, whatever, um, and improving skin's appearance um, instantly and long-term. Long-term, if you've got wrinkles, they're not going to go away unless you get a facelift. Got this, um, it's Smooth Flawless Ever Youth Airbrushing Boosting whatever. It's got a whole bunch of stuff that's on the label. Um, so anyway, this brush it looks like something you'd paint your wall with, so I'm not so sure about that brush, but I will try it because it's part of this kit, and if it works, then all the better. Um, I also bought, um, I'm always looking for under eye stuff that is um, cruelty free, just like everything else. This concealer, not cruelty free, doesn't work that well. You can still see dark circles. Um, so I did buy this another physician's formula and it's actually got an SPF of 30 um, and it's light to medium and it's color correction and care visibly corrects age spots dark circles blemishes dullness uneven skin tone redness blah blah it's got a really long list color correcting pigments and anti-aging basically a concealer um, because it says CC plus concealer. I'm not sure what the BB and CC and all this really means, but I also got this Beauty Bomb Cream, also Physician's Formula, um, and it says replaces moisturizer and foundation SPF 30. Um, smoothing, moisturizing, protecting, firming, priming, filling, perfecting, concealing, brightening, whatever. It's got a whole list of um, stuff that it supposedly does. I'm not going to try this today because I am committed to trying this. Um, this will be for another video. So these are the three products that I just picked up literally about a half hour ago from CVS. Okay. Today I'm going to try this. And I'm going to try this. Um, and we'll see how they work. Okay. Can't quite. There it goes. Okay.
So it comes up in a brush form. Yep, there it is. And quite a bit came up. And mind you, this is um, the only color they had, which was light to medium tone. So let's see how this works on. <laughs> It says something about having like correcting tone and it does. It looks yellow. Um, I, I know that yellow or orange can be good correcting um, for under your eyes. I'm not sure about this one, but we will work with it and see how it comes out. And of course I have pretty vicious dark circles here. Um, I have a lot of allergies and so therefore um, I know a lot of people who do have allergies have um, dark circles as well. I'm actually pretty happy with the way that looks. I put my glasses on to see if it's settled into the fine lines around my eyes yet. And no, it has not. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with this. So I think this is going to be a keeper. Now, even though it went on a little bit dark, it's not too bad. So this is definitely going to be a keeper. I like this. I'll put it back in the box just for now. Um, I am going to put a little bit of this BB cream on my hand so you, you can see the texture of that. Of course, this was loose and I'm not happy about that. However, it had this on it. Um, and this is light medium also. This is how it is. Um, the color is pretty deep, but if it's BB cream and it's supposed to replace your moisturizer, then I guess um, then I guess that wow. Um, I'll wear that one day all day. You can see it's kind of dark on my skin here because I don't have really dark skin. Um, it doesn't look horrible, but I will try that. That'll be for another video. Um, it feels really nice. It doesn't feel tacky. Um, there was no lighter color available at all, so I thought light medium would be okay, but now I'm not so sure because it looks really dark on my hand. Also, this um, is I'm on the fence about. We'll have to think about that. Um, so now I'm going to move on to the main attraction. don't really like the brush, but yes, I will use it because it's part of the set and we'll see how it works. Now this is in the color light. And hopefully it's not too drying. Um, that was a little hard to open and it has the seal on it, so... And... This is what it looks like on my hand. Now, remember, this is the color light. I'm just going to start applying this. Yeah, the color is a little bit dark, but not terrible. This has a very creamy feel to it. Um, okay. So I'm going to pat it around with my hands first. Wow. <laughs> and I'm going to take their paintbrush and I'm going to run it over my face here. And of course it's picking up a little bit of the color, which I'm not sure if that was part of the intent or not. Um, um, it looks almost like the same color as my old Elizabeth Arden um, foundation, the one that ran out. Uh, about two weeks ago. Um, so anyway, just to complete the look, let me just make sure. And actually this brush was not bad. 
um, which I'm really surprised. I'll probably still use my favorite makeup brush, but guess what? Um, I really like this foundation. It looks like it's the right color for me, and um, I think this is probably going to be the thing. The only thing is, if I find, when I, I'm going to wear this every day this week, whoops, I'll wear this every day this week, and if I find that it does not irritate or make my skin feel dry, then this will be a keeper. And the brush actually made a nice smooth transition. The under eye cover is very nice. Um, so anyway, um, just to finish the look, as we always do, I just grab a lipstick and color is beautiful. It has like a kind of a silky feel to it. It's going to need powder if I'm going to put on any blush. Um, so the color is actually even though well, this light, it is labeled as light, is the correct color. Um, and um, if this doesn't dry my skin out, I got a little bit of a worn out manicure here. Um, if this doesn't dry my skin out, then this will be my newest and a keeper for foundation. Stay tuned because I'll give you an update and or I will type a little update on the side at the bottom of the video.